Back at the Ouchmobile are siblings, eight-year-old Charlotte and 11-year-old James. So, Charlotte, James, why have you come to the Ouchmobile? When I stand up, I have a gap in between my knees and I can't put them together. But I can. What's the diagnosis, Doc? Well, oh, sounds to me like it's a case of I've got a gap between my knees when I stand up and I can't put them together, but I can-itis. Easy for you to say. Well, let's find out more about this. Now, Charlotte, can you open the lid on the ouch cam? Now, stand up and show me your knees. Oh, wow. Your feet are close together. Mm -hmm. But as we move up, your knees are wide apart. Now, that is completely different to your brother, whose knees are touching. How does this happen? The answer, really, is that we don't know. I can tell you what's happened is that your bones have grown slightly differently, so we call that a varus change in your knees. What you've really got is normal knees that are a bit, bit further apart than some other people's knees, and other people have got knees that knock together a little bit more. The way that your bones grow is controlled in quite a complicated way, and so you can just get a variation where, for some people, it grows slightly differently. So your brother's grown with his knees close together and you've grown differently. Now, you're still growing and your leg bones are still growing. So possibly, as Charlotte gets older, the gap between your knees will shrink. Does that make sense? Yeah. Charlotte, James, thank you very much for bringing your amazing knees to the Ouchmobile. Thank, thank you, you, Dr. Dr. Zahn. Job done for today. Clinic closed. Ouch. In the emergency department, the team are ready for their first patient. Let's meet her. In Liverpool, accident and emergency, 13-year-old Alice has done something to her leg. I have a dislocated knee. Well, how do you know? So you can feel my whole knee, like, shift in the wrong direction. Weird. Well, how did that happen? It was break time at school, and Alice was chilling with her mates. Oi, son, leave the snow controls alone. Sorry, you did say she was chilling. Righto. So, did she dislocate her knee, running as fast as you can see? No. Did she jump in the air like she really didn't care? No. Was she swinging in the gym, balanced on one limb? No. Nope. And the right answer doesn't rhyme either. What was it then? She just turned and her kneecap popped out. Oh. Ouch! I've dislocated my knee eight or nine times before. Eight or nine times? That's no <laughs> laughing matter. <laughs> On the case is Dr Anne Kerr. What we need to do today, I need to have a little look at it, it's going to hurt, obviously, so what we'll do is get the gas and air, then I'll try and have a look at your knee and see if we need to straighten it up ourselves. Gas and air is a mixture of nitrous oxide and oxygen. As you breathe it in, the gas numbs the pain receptors in your brain and it can also make you feel a bit funny. It's called laughing gas for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> The laughing gas has kicked in and the pain is numb, so the doc can get that kneecap back in place. So all we have to do really is gently straighten the knee whilst pushing the kneecap forwards into the middle of her knee. Because Alice has dislocated her kneecap so many times, she needs to come back to the hospital for a closer examination. Time for another look at the problem leg. Doing that today is surgeon Nick Barton Hansen. He's examining Alice while she's asleep under anaesthetic, so she won't feel a thing. Well, the two main tests, the first to see if her kneecap slides over to the side, which it did a bit more than the other side, and the other one to see where the ligament's torn is. That seems to be quite wobbly. Your body is tied together to keep everything in place. Ligaments tie bones to bones, and tendons tie muscles to bones. If a ligament is damaged, it can make your body wobbly and unstable. So, what's the verdict? The reason she's been having so much trouble with that knee is because of the damage to her ligament. And that was caused by an old injury, and now her kneecap can move forward and back. So how can you help, Doc? What I'm going to do for her is to create a new ligament that can be done in one operation. Wow, amazing! We'll see how Alice gets on with that later in the show. Ouch. Remember Alice and her dislocated knee? Well, let's head back to the accident and emergency department to see how she's getting on. In Liverpool, Alice is back for an operation on her dodgy knee. Oh, yes, I remember. She was just chilling. Oh, no, you don't. We haven't got time. This is just a recap. It was break time at school, and Alice was sitting on a table, swinging her leg. Then she turned, and her kneecap popped out. 
Ouch! So what is this op gonna do? Hopefully it will make my life better. <laughs> and with that, Alice heads off down to theatre for an operation to rebuild her knee ligament using one of her own tendons. Now remember, your body is tied together to keep everything in place. Ligaments tie bones to bones and tendons tie muscles to bones. But Alice's ligament is damaged, making her knee wobbly and unstable. Still smiling, Alice is soon off to sleep and ready for knee fixer extraordinaire, Mr Nick Barton Hansen. It's lights, camera, action, as Nick's using a special camera to fix Alice's knee. The first thing he does is pull out two of Alice's tendons. These long, stringy things attach muscles to bones. So that's going to be the new ligament when it's put in. Before that, he needs to stretch them. This makes them less elastic and a bit stronger. Now he needs to get Alice's knee ready for her new ligament. A shaver and vaporizer gets rid of the old, damaged ligament and scar tissue. Next, a hole is drilled in the bone to hold the new ligament. Now the new ligament is prepped and ready to go into Alice's knee. That done, the whole thing's tightened up and locked in place with a plastic screw. That's more like it. It doesn't wobble around anymore or dislocate. Ain't Mr Hansen the man? Alice gets stitched up. And we're finished. Operation went very well. She's got a, a lot of hard work to do herself now. I think she'll do very well with it and she should be fine. Our patient is soon awake but it will take six weeks of physiotherapy to get her knee working again. Hopefully I can do sport now and football and I'll be yay! Great result! Bye, Bye Alice! Bye, Bye Bear! Back at the Ouchmobile, there's a new case in the waiting room. Can I have the next patient? It's nine-year-old Beth with a nuisance on her knee. So, Beth, what's brought you to the Ouchmobile today? I've got two things going on on my knee. What's the diagnosis, Doc? Sounds like a case of I've got two things going on on my knee-itis. Two for the price of one. Oh, wow, that's interesting. What we can see there is you've clearly got a scab, and around it you can see the skin's raised, it's quite hard, it's dried out, it's rough. That's a condition called psoriasis. What's happening in psoriasis is the cells in your skin that make the tough outer layer of your skin, it's called keratin, they overgrow for some reason. They're more active, they're making more keratin. That's what making that bit of skin kind of rough and thick and hard. Why won't my psoriasis heal? It's been like that since I was around four and five. Sometimes it goes away over time, and sometimes it doesn't. So I'd say for the moment, the best you can do is leave it alone. If it doesn't go away or if it gets worse, then it's well worth going to see a doctor. There are drugs that they could use to treat it, but hopefully it'll, it'll die down of its own accord. <laughs> It's not only teams in hospitals that deal with medical emergencies. All over the UK, there are teams of paramedics on standby, ready to help. We're on call with the UK Emergency Services, showing you what it's really like on the front line saving lives. Paramedics use state-of-the-art vehicles like this to respond to medical emergencies within minutes. And today, I'm going with them to see what it's like to be first on the scene. Yo. On call with me is paramedic Jan Van. She can do 20 emergency call-outs in a day. And a new case has come through. So a call's just come in about an 83-year-old woman with one of her legs swollen. So we need to get there as quick as possible. Following a fall three days ago, Doreen's leg has swollen up and she's not been able to leave the house. Her daughter is concerned something serious could be wrong. Oh. We need to see if these, that knee needs draining. It's quite swollen, isn't it, in comparison to the other one? To have her leg properly looked at, she'll need to go to hospital. 5157, can I have Amber back up, please, Amber? So I'll arrange for an ambulance to come and pick you up. I'll do your blood Lee, pressure and, and everything. You look gorgeous, me. Doreen. Oh, you, you look gorgeous. Have you had any clots before? No. No. Not so no more. One of the main things I think might be going on is she might have a clot, which can happen in older people. And in her legs, that doesn't cause her too much problem, but it can be dangerous if it moves from the legs and goes to the lungs. With the ambulance on its way, we have time to do some important tests that will help the hospital when Doreen gets there. Doreen, this is a tracing of your heart, and you can see it's nice and regular. 
Yeah, you had some things right. All the lines are the right way up and the right height, and they look fine. This is Doreen. Had a fall on Saturday. Pain in her left knee with swelling. Left lower leg. The ambulance crew have arrived, and Doreen's in great shape. She's really cheery, but she has got this knee pain. So we need to get her to hospital, fix the pain, and then she can come home again. We've got um, what's called a striker chair to get Doreen downstairs on. And it's a special design chair that has runners rather than wheels, so it could slide down the stairs. What do you think of this, Doreen? I've never seen one of these before. I might get one myself. <laughs> Doreen's an amazing woman, but today her leg's a bit swollen. She can't walk around as easily as normal, so she's going to get to hospital. And luckily, when she needed help, Jan and the amazing chair were here to give it. With hundreds of rapid response crews in the UK, if you have an accident, an emergency service like this won't be far away.